to tell us more about this. We can cross straight to our Washington correspondent, Philip Crowther. Hello, thank you for being with us. What more can you tell us about this court filing? Well, here it is. Uh, it's a very, very short uh, court filing. It comes from the office of Robert Mueller, the special counsel who is responsible for the investigation uh, into Russian meddling in the U.S. election and whether there was any type of collusion between the Donald Trump campaign and Russian intelligence officials and the Russian government. It's very short. It comes from Robert Mueller himself just the two pages, but they are very, very significant because uh, what's included in these pages is this, pretty light charges, one count of false charges, just the one. So uh, Michael Flynn, the former national security advisor, while he was national security advisor to the U.S. President Donald Trump, is charged with making false, fictitious and fraudulent statements about conversations he had with the Russian ambas ambassador Sergei Kislyak at the time. Now, what you'll see this morning here local time at 10.30 a.m., this is Eastern time here in Washington, Michael Flynn will be in court. This is where he will uh, say whether he believes he is guilty or not guilty. That's the plea part of this case. That is when we might find out whether or not he's entering a plea bargain with the special counsel Robert Mueller. A plea bar bargain means this. Michael Flynn comes off relatively lightly in exchange for working with the investigators. In other words, spilling the beans on pretty much everybody. Michael Flynn was in the White House, after all. He was the national security advisor to U.S. President Donald Trump. He was working on the campaign with him in the months before the election. Michael Flynn knows a lot. That is why the special counsel, Robert Mueller, wants uh, Michael Flynn to collaborate with him, to work with him and give him more information as much as possible. Just as a reminder, so far in this investigation, we have seen uh, the indictment of the former head of the Donald Trump campaign. We've already seen a plea deal with a former advisor to the Donald Trump campaign. This is somebody who went into a plea bargain. He is giving more information in exchange for lighter charges and lighter punishment. That might happen with Michael Flynn as well. A very, very significant move here by the special counsel Robert Mueller in this investigation. Because what could today's development mean for the Trump administration? And perhaps Donald Trump himself? Also, all sorts of trouble uh, for the Trump administration, of course, depending on what they did. If they didn't do anything all too bad, if there was no sign of collusion between the Donald Trump campaign and the Russian government, then that's OK. If there was no sign of an obstruction of justice, maybe, on behalf of the US president, when he fired the FBI director, James Comey, again, that wouldn't be a big deal. But Michael Flynn was there for a lot of these events that happened. He knows whether there was any wrongdoing. He will be able to describe what the president's thinking was and whether there was a master plan or not. This is bad news in any, in any which way you look at this, because it is the national, former national security advisor who had access to pretty much all the information in the White House, who is now being charged by the special counsel and might enter a plea bargain. Again, he might spill the beans. He might be able to tell Robert Mueller everything he knows. It's bad news for the White House on this Friday. There's no other way around it. Uh, it could be very dangerous indeed for the U.S. president, because what we don't yet know is what his involvement might have been, whether this was a U.S. president who tried to collude with the Russian government. There is no proof of that right now. There is also no proof that he was trying to obstruct justice when he fired the FBI director, James Comey, who was responsible for the Russia investigation at the time. None of that is accessible right now. None of this has been proven. But this opens up the possibility of some kind of proof coming out. Philip Crowther reporting there from Washington. Thank you very much for that.